What's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but items have been purified. Uh, wait, okay. Sorry, we're just like, we had a pause, we're in the middle of a fight now. S restarted the intro, all of that good stuff. No, uh, but neutral items have been purified. Which is made by Pudis, naturally. Uh, so how does this work? Well, neutral items have been kind of like generally buffed a little bit. I think it's like by 10% or something, I don't really know. Like, it's a little arbitrary, I think. Maybe Pudis can enlighten us. But also, uh, the tiers are set up in such a way that you will actually get every single item in the game. Like, every single neutral item in the game. Um, since you get free of each tier, and each tier only has free, and there's all items distributed across like 20 different tiers. Um, we will actually get every single neutral item, which is really interesting. Like I actually find that kind of kind of neat. All right. Um, yeah. So we'll just kind of see how that works out. Right. Of course. First, we gotta kind of like grind through the early game here. See if we can find a little bit of farm. This is a rough lane. Nature's prophet and the venomancer. Ugh. <laughs> You could use the word toxic, but I feel like that would just be playing into a cliche. Alright. No, he is toxic. I was just thinking, is Venomancer poisonous or toxic? Ah, Venomous. <laughs> it's in his name, Venomancer. Alright, I'm sorry. Apparently I'm an idiot today. <laughs> toxic is not the same thing as poisonous or Venomancer. Uh, Ven venomous. There we go. God damn it. Alright, talking is difficult. That's what we have already learned. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, go hard on these nerds. So Nature's Prophet hits pretty hard, which is a bit annoying. Let's just go ahead and see if we can get some of these last hits anyway. And all of that good stuff. Grab Swashbuckle. And, uh, yeah. I, by the way, I, I'm not really ever sure how exactly to skill this guy. I'm probably going to get, like, a quick point into into my uh, W. Ah, fuck. My flick was not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have hit both of them, but I was a little too aggressive with the mouse right there. Alright, we'll get also some boots. Boots, boots, boots. And go ahead and uh, get a few more of these nerds. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Anyway, oh wait, never mind. Are we going for this? Ah, oh, I didn't get a trigger. Ooh, that stinks. Here I come. Hey, master! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beep beep to you as well. Thank you very much, though. I appreciate that. A little bit of damage. Probably didn't need to take as much damage in return as I did. Yeah, oh, this is where it gets scary. Nope, too many trees. Yeah. I don't think I can do this. I need to go. I need to get a disarm. Ooh. We got healing. More healing. Oh, man. Yes. Just move, just move. Ah! No! <laughs> uh, I'm trying so hard, man. Trying to keep him alive, but I just don't think. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I could have done about that. There was a lot going on right there. So, yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look at this, by the way. Right, free items per, per tier, not anymore. Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> that description is actually still accurate, uh, Buddhist. But yeah, janky attempt or bypassing the item drop limit from neutrals. Yeah, I think that's that's really the the neat mm -hmm. bit. I right, that I think works. By the way, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this right now, but like I'm probably gonna change the name of this mode a little bit for the video. You know, I sometimes do that when I find the name to be. Not really necessarily the most uh, likely to get good, you know, attention, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we got that. 
And I mean that with no disrespect when I do that. Right? You but yeah. You so, anyway. So, clickbait title. But no, no. Oh, let's talk about clickbait. Oh! I got a topic, man. I've been like stalling so hard trying to think of a topic or <laughs> something to talk about. No, no, not clickbait. Like, what I would probably name it is like Dota 2, but um, you can drop every, every neutral item. Which is what the game mode is. Hey, Battle Semi, thank you very much for the 21 months. All right? But I feel like... Okay, so... I think the internet has, like, a weird perception of what clickbait is and what isn't clickbait sometimes. Right? And before we, like, talk about that, right, we have to kind of establish... Oh, man. Slightly off point there. Oh, you, you got him. Nice. Right, before you talk about any of that, you kind of have to first establish what even qualifies as clickbait in, you know, anyone's given opinion. So, for example, let me let me ask you something. Does anything does anything that makes the video so sound interesting qualify as clickbait? Right? Because if we take the term clickbait and we specifically break it down, right? Then it just means like it's bait. It's trying to get you to click on something, right? That's all it, all the immediate kind of just literal description of the word. Of course, language isn't literal like that. And that's not really how you can usually use, like you can usually look at things. But yeah. So to me, just having a title of a video sound engaging that's not clickbait, right? And I can go quite a long way, right? Like, to me, if somebody in, let's say, a fighting game finds an infinite combo, right? And then they title their video, Crazy Infinite Combo with This Character Discovered. And they caps lock some shit of that. To me, that's not clickbait. To me, that's just kind of like making it interesting. Hey, you're an entertainer, right? At its core, they are still videos that are meant to be entertainment, right? You shouldn't be completely disallowed from anything, you know, like from, from everything. That to me wouldn't be clickbait. But to some people, that would be clickbait already. Now... If, for example, I take that same case, right, and it's like an infinite combo that was discovered and it, it kind of requires a lot of setup and it's probably not tournament viable, hypothetically, right? And then somebody goes and makes a video titled Crazy Infinite Combo Game Breaking Sh Character Should Be Banned and makes that the title. Well, that's, that's clickbait in my opinion. Right? Because, like, you know it's not actually that broken. <laughs> like, you know that. <laughs> right? You're intentionally misrepresenting what's actually happening here. Right? That, to me, that would be clickbait. Now, it's kind of interesting. Okay. So, let me kind of sidetrack for one second. Alright? So, I have... I have um, been going... To, so, where I live, right? We used to keep, we used to bring the disasters packages to uh, the post office, which was kind of like it's a little bit further away, but it's like this nice professional post office, right? With a whole bunch of counters, and you go there, and that's where you bring the packages, and they'll just take care of it for you. That's what we used to do. But the car broke, <laughs> and I still haven't gotten around to fixing it. Oh, hey, look, we've got a shovel. And um, so what we've been doing recently is we have actually, oh, well, it originally started with me kind of like just figure, seeing if this works, but we have this like small kind of like magazine shop, right? Like I honestly don't really know what the business model of that shop is. My guess is actually that the business model of that shop is simply, hey, I, you know, like we do post. Right, because they have, they sell magazines, but like these really kind of shitty, trashy ones. <laughs> and um, cigarettes, 
which I imagine is like the second strong line of their business model. And um, and then they also uh, uh, accept the post, right? And you can send posts from there. So we went there and I was just kind of like, okay, do you, can I like bring 600? At the time it was 600, by now it's like 1200. No, but like, can I bring like 1200 packages to you? And like, you know, ship them from here? Because I wasn't really sure if that's something that was a possibility with a shop that small, right? If that was maybe like too much for them to handle. But turns out that they are actually fine doing that. Hello. Oh, this is a bit too much that's happening right now. We're gonna try to t Oh my god, that hurt. Ah, that was the last hit, wasn't it? Oh my, 544 damage. Hey, Ingeborg, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. So, my point being, I've now spent a lot of time at that shop. Because what I do is I grab all of the packages we have done, I carry them down to the shop. Usually it's me, usually Mickey makes the packages and then I bring them down there. Right? But I bring them down there. And then, um, and then, uh, you know, I, I kind of like gotta put them into boxes there, you know, like the, the lady helps me, but it's just, it's just faster if the two of us do it together. So we kind of like, you know, the lady that runs the shop, like she kind of like puts the, puts the stuff into like half the stuff into boxes or like scans the things that need scanning and all of that stuff. And I put the rest of the stuff into boxes. Point being, I've spent a good amount of time in that store now, right? And, um. It's kind of fascinating to me because that store sells magazines that are just like, that is some fucking clickbait, right? Oh, recipe back scratcher. Huh. I gotta kind of like figure out what that is about. Right? But that is some damn, like that's like those magazines are crazy, crazy clickbait. Like, they'll have just things on the, like, front page that, like, like, political things that I just know are blatant lies. <laughs> They're just not true, right? Like, they just, like, factually incorrect. Um, or something that I saw today is where it was talking about, like, sex addiction. And then it had, like, five different celebrities on there. And I was like, are they sex addicts? And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what is this? Right? And it's just very clearly that this is just all completely fabricated out of nothing. Um, purely. Stay hydrated. Man, there's so many items. Right? Purely for the sake of, um, well, being clickbait. And that to me, that's just like, damn, that's, that's some crazy clickbaiting, right? Like, but that's the original clickbaiting. And if you kind of like think back to that, Right, the original clickbaiting was like magazines like that, like these kind of trashy magazines, right? And and if we now think like modern times, right? Like what what goes on? I I I don't know if if you guys are familiar with this stuff, but there's like some there's some weird ass shit on YouTube, all right? <laughs> like this, there's some wacky ass shit on YouTube. Um, oh, there's the back scratcher. All right. Oh, look at that. I have the recipe. Okay, it's not, not working. There we go. Look at that. Wait, I don't need this. I don't need this. Alright, so what does this do? 20 attack speed, 70 attack rage, 20 damage, 5 armor. Well, that's actually pretty good. So, on YouTube, um... There's these videos about um, kind of like uh, arcade machines, right? And there are channels on there where, for example, like the title of the video will be like, Won an iPad at an arcade machine, first try! And then you watch the video, and not saying that I watched those videos, but you know, I, I watched videos about the videos. <laughs> but. Um, then you watch the video, and they just, they just don't. 
Or did they just, there's just no iPad. This just doesn't happen. <laughs> like, they don't even fake it. There's no iPad in the video. There's, there's no winning. It's just nothing that happens related to the title of the video. At all. Did I miss an item drop? When did you just... I kind of would like that... Oh. Oh yeah, give me that power. Alright, fuck you. I'm coming! No. You're not getting out. You're not getting away from me. Right? Radial just straight up this just it's 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 the most obscure obscure thing to me. It's just like what is this what what is described in the title just is not something that happens. Right? And that's actually kind of like how I always for the longest time, it's always how I fall of clickbait. Right? To me, like the definition of clickbait begins with that. Right? Where it's like, okay, just just things that are just blatantly not in the content piece. Right? Like, things where they describe the content piece in one way, and then just, they just lied. <laughs> like, it's just not there. <laughs> Alright, there's the disarm, that's what we need. Ooh, yeah, that got me. <clears throat> Now, this is actually where Mavster brings up a really interesting point. How do you feel about How To Basics video? Right? So, How To Basic, in case you don't know the channel, right? But How To Basic is basically a, a YouTube channel where the videos are titled How To Do, or like How To, and then a thing, like How To Fix Your Washing Machine, or something like that. How To Cook An Egg, usually kind of really basic stuff that's being How To Do. That, that's why it's How To Basic, right? And... <clears throat> and in those videos, I would say about, well, actually 100% of the time, that just isn't what happens. <laughs> right? Like, that's just not what happens in the video. The title and the thumbnail are always very different from the content. But the thing about How to Basic is that in How to Basic, it's very, like, kind of, like, intentional. It's a joke. Right, and it's an ongoing joke on the entire channel. Everybody that knows the channel and clicks on the videos doesn't actually expect them to be a tutorial about the subject matter. Because they never are. There's like a thousand videos, probably more than that, on the channel. Right? But they are never, ever, ever a tutorial. That's just not what those videos are. And that's kind of... Like, is that clickbait? Chicken wire. Uh, I don't really think we want chicken wire. Also, green fashion. It's probably not very good for me either. I like my nightly yibas. I don't know, one ring to rule them all and my back scratcher. Back scratcher is actually kind of sick. Um, but nobody on that channel expects... Or the, nobody that actually knows the channel expects... Um, that that is what actually happens. By the way, this item right here... Uh, breaks the game. So let's not pick it up. Right? So is that clickbait? Because it's very clearly not meant to be um, taken seriously in that way, right? Like, you're not supposed to go on How To Basics and then actually expect a video about how to fix a washing machine, right? Like, you, that's just not... Like, if you expect that, then honestly, your expectations are just wrong. Now... That only applies if you know the channel, though. If you don't actually know the channel, if you aren't familiar with it, then you might see the video and be like, oh, cool, a washing machine. Like, I, I need to fix my washing machine. That's actually really, like, a pressing issue for me right now. You click on it, and then you don't get any help fixing your washing machine. Hmm. So is it clickbait? So I need to, by the way, think about what we equip here. So our reduction 9... Don't think that's really that nice, but... Hey, realization -y. All right, thank you very much for the six months. Um, does somebody want my cooldown reduction? I 
So is that clickbait? Well, it kind of is. But it's also kind of satire on it, right? But you can be satirical towards something while also being the same thing. Right? That is possible. Oh, why is there no creeps here? Oh, they're probably blocked. They probably blocked our cams, those sneaky sneaks. This is uh, 38 magic damage per hit, right? And so that kind of like, let's let's lead this whole thing back home now. Hey, Anina Weigel. Thank you. Uh, life was all right. Three out of ten would not recommend. Why are all of these? They're just blocking all of our camps, dude. It's just like, <laughs> it's just all blocked. <laughs> There's just no creeps. I can't, we cannot kill any neutral creeps because they're all blocked. <laughs> oh, man. Right, so at this point, I think it might make sense to bring this whole thing home. Right, let's talk about my channel. So, I have had to listen to people tell me that I am clickbait or that I have, that I upload videos with clickbait titles a lot. Now, not really recently. Recently, I uh, made the video on... Uh, wait, which... If we go in here, this... Uh, there you go. Dota 2, but you keep scaling after Foodie. Right? And it had this thing as its thumbnail. And I just thought that was funny. So I just used that as the thumbnail for the video. Right? And that then resulted in one person calling... Uh, saying that... Oh, Balmy, how dare you criticize clickbait titles when you yourself are clickbait? And that kind of like is part of what's prompted this whole thing because it's it's been kind of in my head now. All right? It's not that I'm upset or anything like that. I don't really give a shit, but it's just it's just interesting. Because I don't think I have clickbait titles. So first of all, uh, the Dota 2 butt titles, 99% of the time, they are just they're just the title of the game mode. That's not clickbait, right? I don't think so. Right? Then, sometimes... Oh, oh, I will take mummy legs. Oh, give me those. Oh, mummy long legs. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Whee, look at me. I'm the best spider. But they're just the title of the video, usually. Oh, the title of the game mode. Right? Now, sometimes I will change the title. And that's mostly because I think it's going to be a more interesting title. Right? Like, for example, in this this mode, I'll change the title a little bit. Um, but Dota 2, but uh, neutral items have been putified. That doesn't mean anything <laughs> to anybody. Right? And I mean, no disrespect to Pudis. Right? Like, it's totally fair to call your game mode that if you want to. I have no problem with it. But... It also doesn't mean anything. And if people are trying to go to my channel and aren't sure what video to watch, this will not help them figure that out. And in the end, that's what the titles are for, isn't it? So in that way, it would just kind of fail as a title. Beep, beep! Oh, by the way, can I show you a trick? Haha, -ha, I can't walk down cliffs! Haha! <laughs> beep, beep! Oh man, you have a lot of attack. Oh my god. Alright, you're fast. You got me. But that doesn't really mean anything. So I'll change the title to be something more interesting. But it's still gonna be true. And it's still gonna be truthful. And in that way, I don't really think that's clickbait. But I've also been criticized in the past. Where, um, you know, l let's just kind of like l leave the most recent year behind us. Right, because I feel like the most recent year on my channel has just been very straightforward. Um, but before that, where I used to do a lot of the Bobby Plays videos with just normal Dota, and I put like an old caps title. To be honest, I always thought that was kind of, kind of stupid, but it's just kind of that's you gotta play the YouTube game, right? And at the time, that was kind of like the main thing I was doing was playing the YouTube game, so I was just doing the thing that worked. Um, but honestly, I, I never really liked it that much. Let me go ahead and get these down here. I think next up I'll just kind of start farming up. Uh... Wait, is there anything? 
Anything here that's like particularly great? Why do we have two of these? Wait, do we? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's kind of funny. <clears throat> so... Back then... I had people claiming that I was um, clickbaiting all the time. But the titles of the videos were always kind of true. <laughs> right? I don't want to be like, you know, like the point here isn't to be like, no, I'm perfect and I never did anything wrong. But I never blatantly lied in the titles. That's something that I was actually, like, that's something that I was very much like, nah, nah, I'm not going to just like make shit up. Right? That, that would be lame. I don't want to do that. Right, so I never just blatantly lied in any of the titles. Something good this time. And uh, the danger. Here's this way. I don't know. You know, is that? But is if, for example, with um, the um, with the video on Void Spirit that I released when the new patch came out, I called that the new king of magic damage. All caps lock. Is that clickbait? I mean, let's be completely honest. Void Spirit is really good. He does a shit ton of magic damage. It is clearly a bit exaggerated. But in the end, I played Void Spirit. I went to magic damage build. I did a lot of magic damage. Performed well in that game. And I think you could argue that Void Spirit is... Maybe the best magic damage dealing hero in the game. So, my point here isn't to come to a conclusion, right? If you say that's clickbait, then that's your opinion. It's fine. I personally wouldn't necessarily agree, right? I think it's kind of a little borderline, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's clickbait because there's no dishonesty being spoken, right? It's all kind of, you know. Up for interpretation, I feel. Alright, we'll just try to TP out here. I don't really want to fight Slark. Slark is just a nasty boy. But there are channels out there that will just lie. Right? Like, that's just the thing. That's kind of the traditional way to do clickbait. <laughs> that's how clickbait used to be done. You would just lie. And it's not really just a lie. You know, like, if the thing is that, you know, is, our, is Void Spirit truly the new king of magic damage? Well, I don't know. What does the monarchy of magic damage think about this, right? Is he the new heir? Like, who was the previous king? Right? Like, all of these questions are being taken, the, taking the whole thing very literally. Well, at its core, the whole point of the title is just to say this guy does a lot of magic damage, right? It's an exaggeration. Is it a lie? I don't know. Do you consider, consider an exaggeration? Like, something that's just trying to bring the message across. A lie in that way. And now we're getting into interpretation and metaphors, and really, I have taken this far off track. <laughs> like, I am far off the rails right now. No, I'm, I, I you know what, you know what, I'm actually not. Alright, I'm, I am actually, I think this is, uh, oh, 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 I would like that. Oh, give me flicker. Oh, I will flicker all around the place. It's gonna be glorious. Alright, so first... Uh, is Global Shop active? Yes. Do we want this? I don't really think so. Um. Your top tower is under attack. So it is a silence. I've got Flicker now, which is nice. Whee! It's not as simple of something. Like, it's not really, like, so... At its core, this whole clickbait argument doesn't really have an answer. Which I know makes it a very unsatisfying argument. <laughs> right? But when you just really go on like a half hour ramble of something that you won't even give like a clear answer to. And yeah. Yeah, I, I did. I did. Um, but I, I just don't really think it has a clear answer. I don't really think there's like, 
You know, like, just like there isn't an actual king of magic damage, and like there isn't a ruler of the land of magic damage, there's no real hard to find logic behind what, or like, I guess, precedent on what clickbait is and isn't. And it kind of comes down to like a personal ideology. But yeah, honestly speaking, I am biased, right? I'm a content creator. Like, so again, kind of like thinking back to uh, a long time ago, people would call me out, right, and say, I should do my titles like Purge does them. So I look at how does Purge do them. And Purge just titled this video, Purge plays Necrophos. And that's it. And I look at that and I'm like, yeah, I guess, but that doesn't tell me anything about what the video is actually about. Like, like I get that he's playing Necrophos, but what is he doing with him? Like, come on, you can tell me more than that. What is this? Pocket Drake? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. But that wouldn't be, right? Like, I just feel like, okay, so this doesn't... How does this reach out to people that don't know who Purge is? Right? Like, if I'm somebody on YouTube who is like, okay, I'm looking for a video to watch on Dola 2, well, what channel am I gonna click on? And then they see Purge plays Necrophos. And they're like, well, I have no fucking idea who Purge is, but this guy clearly doesn't care enough to put proper titles on his videos, so why would I watch it? And I don't mean any disrespect towards Purge here, I'm just kind of like trying to explain some thinking. Right? So, is that strictly superior then? Because it doesn't really tell me anything about what's going on, you know, in the video. Oh my god, I'm the best. Did you just see me, like, use my flicker perfectly? Alright. Magic damage? Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Spider type! Spider type! Spider type! <gasps> oh, I'm actually still alive. Holy shit. Alright, blink me forward. That works. <laughs> Just flicker yourself around the place. No. Wait, okay, we're still good. By the way, if you guys enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. That would be nice. That would help. Then I don't need to clickbait because I get ratings on videos and I get videos that way. Pocket Drake. Pocket Drake seems kind of sick, honestly. I actually just got saved by my slightly useful and antique, which is nice. But I looked at that, and I was just like, well, I get that these videos, that these titles are the very definition of not clickbait. They couldn't be further away from clickbait, but they're also not interesting, and they're also not really reaching a new audience. And as somebody who my primary goal was to reach a new audience, what well, my primary goal was to, you know, like, get a viewership, you know, reach people, build up a channel. That I knew that wasn't going to be the way to go. Like, it wasn't going to help me get there. Purge had an advantage. Purge started Dota very, very early on. When there weren't many people doing it. And as a result... He could build up a viewership just based on that alone. And then after a while, that viewership was just with him. Right? And I'm not trying to describe... By the way, please don't take this as me talking shit about Purge. That's really not the message here. Right? Okay. Good Hex, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go and just blink on top of that. And... Oh my god, what's going on there? God damn it, the guy's way too fast. Spider time! Cool, we got him. I'm like actually out of mana. Alright, there's a slog. I don't think I can fight the slog, and I'm not really sure what to do now. Now, you might also be asking Balmy. Really? Who gives a shit? I already know. A surprising amount of people. 
There's a lot of people that are very angry about clickbait, as they describe it. Right? That's, that's, uh, I think there's actually a lot of people that care surprising about. Um, I personally don't really care that much. Also, oh my god, there's so many of these dragons and they're giving so much armor. Alright, what did we get? House insurance. Seashell bracelets. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. At your disposal. Okay. But what I'm saying, where I want to be very clear, is it's not really supposed to be a commentary on purchase habits, titles, commentary. Um, I have no problem with any of that, and that's really not the message. I'm just using an example, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit, I need money. All right, never mind. Turns out that item actually requires uh, some money first. Oh my god, come on, no! No! <laughs> uh, I was totally, I was, I, I bet it all on that. I bet it all on me getting that sick ass, sick ass flicker right on top of the guy. <laughs> uh, that would have been awesome though, right? Like, imagine I blink right on top of the nerd. Alright, time to replace our boots with some better boots. Hey, Anonymous Chiro. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Oh, now we're fast. Look at us. And we have a lot of health region. Oh, yes, yeah, Slog. Yeah, Slog has the... Oh, my God. I gotta go. Alright. You're never catching me. Like, that's just not happening. Do you have any idea how difficult I am to catch? Alright, never mind. I might actually accidentally kill myself. Okay, so that's bad. Pirate hat on this nerd. Um, do we have any of the, like, really crazy stuff yet? I mean, it should be available. Oh, can I have the KYS? Alright, I need a lot of money. <laughs> I have to finish up this um, Mimi or Blink. And this KYS, which is... Oh, man. That stuff is expensive, dude. And they got a slog with Pirate Hat running around, which is just kind of a problem. Not really sure what I'm going to do about that guy. Alright, by the way, I, I hope I didn't, like, talk too long about this whole subject matter. But it's actually been kind of, like, spooking around my head a little bit. I just find it a little bit interesting. Because uh, I feel like it's... Oh my god. Alright, do you, who wants this 120% Apex? No, the Morphling, right? Where's the Morphling? Oh, wait. Oh, no. No. Flicker forward. Oh my god, I got it! <laughs> Alright, no, no, no! Oh, I'm too fast. I can't... I, oh, I go too fast. Alright. Sata, do you want an Apex? Oh, shit. Alright, cool. Flicker out. Flicker. Alright. Trees. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this is not ideal. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> you what? You what, mate? Okay, we got a flicker back to base. Sick. 
Luckily, I have perfect, flawless control over my flicker, and I'm a golden god. Meteor smash! Alright, well, we can get this guy. Flicker out. Shit, this is not ideal. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, shit, I forgot I had the mating call. I could have beaky beat out of that. Oh, Slark. Ah. Oh. Slark is just such a wiener, dude. Nice. Alright, Satsa, you, you're starting to get there, okay. Yeah, Satsa got the Apex and then decided to actually become useful. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, more fling with Apex. Oh, that's, that's just kind of gross, honestly. That's just a little bit disgusting. I got perfect control over of my flicker. Boom me a minute before death. Well, I feel like me dying actually had nothing to do with me not having control over the flicker. Apart from the last one that flickered me right into the disable. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but I did have pretty good control over my flicker there for a moment. No, I just completely forgot that this is a magic immunity. Like, honestly. Alright. We gotta sort these items we have here. Like, 90% of these are not useful. I mean, he should have every item we can now, right? No, oh, actually, uh, no. Not, not quite. One tier left. Okay. Is it... When is it coming online? 45. Oh, it's probably gonna be the the Lincoln thingy. God, all of the creeps are blocked. Like every single creep camp is just disabled. Oh yeah, I don't need to worry about trees. Man, you don't get to use these fancy items that much, so I'm not really too used to them. Oh my god, I'm a god. Alright, we got him. Mate, 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 where am I? Oh my god, it's perfect! <laughs> I like turned around, I have no idea how I turned around, but I did. Alright, never mind, we're good. Screw you. Problem is, I'm still stunned. Okay. Got him. Alright. Got him. There's one more guy left. Alright, we flickered over here. Nice stun. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Flicker forward. No! We got the stun. Fuck, flicker forward. Nice. No, 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 no. You ah, he's got flicker forward. Where am I? Where am I? I'm, I'm somewhere. Meet your hammer. Okay, good, good, good. Invis, pick that up. Disable him some more. Keep the stun lock going. Flicker forward. No! <laughs> oh man. Dude, this is some anime shit going on right now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, it just can't kill him. Just don't do the damage I need. Like, I, I, I can't fight him. But I can't kill him. I don't think he can kill me either. <laughs> like, I think neither of us can kill each other. What's Thriller Knight? Is that... That's the zombies, right? Or, I mean... Um, almost had him. 
Almost had him. Ah, oh, the fear. It's actually kind of good that it's keeping me in place here. I just don't do enough damage. I need. Ah. Alright. That's like the really, really big major issue right now. No! No! <laughs> Alright, I'm coming back. No, they did it! Oh, man. Oh, my God. I tried, man. I tried. It's kind of... Oh, well. That's kind of a shame. All right, well done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We we'll definitely appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.